Now, resistance um, is, is not as simple as just temperature. There, there are other factors. If you really, again, want to get into the fine details, all of these things are as complicated as you want to make them. Um, but, but it's worth mentioning skin effect. So there, there's a phenomenon called skin effect where an AC frequency makes a conductor look like it's physically smaller from, from a resistance point of view. And in my graph on the right, I, I try to illustrate this. So for putting a 5 hertz AC frequency um, through a conductor, it has a skin depth of 29 millimeters. And, and in my graphical representation, where my uh, blue is useful conductor and my white is, is not, um, my white is effectively air, we see we have that full conductor. We put 50 hertz through the conductor. We have 9.38 millimeter skin depth. And we might see a little bit of area that's that's not useful. 500 hertz, we start to get a bigger skin depth. There's more area that's not useful. And this not useful area is not passing current. Our resistance is going up. So if I, if I had another graph here that was resistance, my higher, 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 higher. And by the time we get to 50 kilohertz, we can see that we're just using the rim of that conductor to pass electricity. So as our frequency increases, our resistance increases. And while your, your machine might be operating at fundamentals that were somewhere in you know, the, the 5 hertz to 500 hertz area, it doesn't really affect you. We do have that switching frequency. And that switching frequency will have a little bit of these skin effect losses at, at the really high um, range. So if you want to start accounting for those, you know, if you have a high switching frequency and you think skin effect is going to be an issue for your losses, which it very well could, um, you can start to implement that. And rather than just accounting for temperature, you would call your, your resistance RAC, and that would be your DC resistance times the gauge factor, so the, the thickness of the copper, uh, times the root of frequency and, and in megahertz. And from there, you can really start to say, okay, I've got that another variable in my resistance, plug that in and, and start to understand more about what your losses are. And then again, you're just plugging this into your I squared R equation. And, and it's, it's that simple. We have our phase current, we have our resistance, we can calculate what our power losses are. Um, so again, skin effect affects really high fundamentals and, and switching frequencies. Um, and, and we just plug this AC resistance into our, our resistance equation that we're compensating with temperature. So again, we're making this, the equation more complex, but it's still I squared R.